Hi there, this is Tucker Wells with Adventures in CRE. Today we're going to show you how you can start leveraging ChatGPT for your recruitment help. All right, so before we get started, every one of you guys needs to have really two documents open. Number one is OpenAI. OpenAI.com. Let's log in. I'm going to continue with my Gmail account. And here is ChatGPT slash OpenAI's platform. All right, and so what we want to make sure is that each of you guys have a personal account set up because we're not going to be able to do this without a personal account set up. We're also going to go to Manage Account. You'll need to put in a credit card. All right, so what I would do is you know, just put in your payment method, add a payment method, and boom. Once you add a payment method, you wanna make sure that it's working. So let's go to the playground button up here and just say hello. Perfect. That means it's working, all right? And trust me, this stuff is very cheap. I've used it a lot. And as you can see, it's charged me like nine cents okay so now that we know it's working let's stay here and let's go to your google sheet so now we're going to download the extension all right get an add-on i'm going to type in gpt up here it's the first one looks like right here i'm going to install it i'm going to press allow and now I am going to start using ChatGPT in Excel Sheets. Okay. So before we do this, we need to make sure that we have our API key set in. And I'm going to walk you through how to find this. I'm going to go to our API key right here. So again, you're going to press home, API key. I'm going to clear an API key so I can add a new one set your API key. So now we're going to go back to the open AI feature. We're going to click on our avatar up here, view API keys. We're going to create a new secret key, create key. And we're going to copy this guy right into your Excel sheets. Save API key. Awesome. Let's do a quick test to make sure it's working. GPT say hello. We're going to have to use quotation marks. All right, it looks like it's working. Now let's start today's demonstration. Equals GPT table. So what we're going to do is we're going to prompt ChatGPT in Excel Sheets to create a list of 50 institutional real estate companies in New York City. And we're also going to prompt ChatGPT to list the CEO, the name of the CEO. So again, we got to use quotes when we prompt it in Excel Sheets. And let's just give it a minute. Awesome. Now we're going to prompt ChatGPT to give me a two sentence description about this company so I can see if this is a company that I want to work for or not. We're going to comma 
we're going to make sure we press the name of the organization. Awesome. So now if I do not know these companies, I can figure it out. All right. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to ask ChatGPT for the URL of the company's website. And I want to make sure it's the career URL so I can start applying to these jobs. Awesome. Now we can start applying to every one of these companies. We can even go a step further. We can prompt GPT to write me a 50 word LinkedIn connection asking for 15 minutes to talk to these executives. Maybe also you're president of a real estate club and this will help you source speakers, all right? So again, we can, we can prompt ChatGPT um, we might even be able to ask ChatGPT, where did they go to school? Again, there's a lot of names, there's a lot of different names of certain individuals on this earth, so this might not be very well, but this will just help you understand the features ChatGPT has. attended Yale. So Columbia. So again, this will give us some detailed information all about this program. Thank you.